This is Denver 7 On Demand. I'm Stacy Donaldson with the latest from Denver 7. Wednesday afternoon, we learned that a 16-year-old girl is in custody in connection to the death of 7-year-old Jordan Vaughn. Vaughn disappeared from his Montbello neighborhood on Monday. Wednesday, Denver police tell us they found the boy's body concealed in the family home. This is now a murder investigation, and as we learn more information, we'll bring it to you on air and on the free Denver 7 app. Denver's a boom town officially. Magnify Money, an online money blog, ranked Denver as one of the top six boom towns in America. Since the city is seeing substantial growth in population, housing, businesses, and wages, Austin, Texas landed the top spot. Can you find what's wrong with this diploma? Colorado Mesa University accidentally put cord of trustees instead of board of trustees. They've made this mistake on every diploma they've issued since 2012. A graduate pointed out the error today. Now CMU is offering reprints. The school will pay $5 for each reprint, which means this typo could end up costing about $46,000. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here's a look at your forecast. Afternoon highs in the upper 80s for Thursday afternoon and evening. We'll see some scattered evening storms, sunny and hot on Friday, and we'll be in the 80s and 90s over the weekend with sunshine. This has been your Denver 7 On Demand Update. Thanks for joining us. Check back here later for another update and download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Stacy Donaldson.